Hi, and welcome back to I'm a Happy Enchilada, and I hope you're having a great day. I'm Don Culver. I'll be your host. Now, last week we explored people-pleasing and came to realize that good boundaries can play a significant role in preventing unacceptable behavior from others in our life. So, I want to talk about boundaries today. And if you're considering changes you can make to improve your life, well, setting good boundaries and keeping them is a huge step in the right direction. Now, here are different definitions for different types of boundaries in our lives. One definition is a simple line that divides properties, which we already knew. Now, moral boundaries, where society decides what is right and wrong, and personal boundaries, which you and I live with or without every day. So for today, let's drill down on personal boundaries. First, let me share a few examples of unacceptable boundary bashing behavior you may have already experienced in relationships, friendships, and in the workplace. One, lying to you. Two, going through your personal belongings. Three, criticizing you. Four, humiliating you in front of others. Five, taking out their anger on you. And six, invading your personal space. Ooh, any of these sound familiar to you? Ha, huh, I thought so. Well, I'm sure there are several more unacceptable behaviors that could be added to that list. So, looks like some of you have your work cut out for you to create new personal boundaries to ensure you are being treated with the respect you deserve in all areas of your life. So let's do it. What are personal boundaries? Personal boundaries are basic guidelines that people create to establish how others are able to behave around them. Why is setting personal boundaries so important? Setting boundaries can ensure that relations can be mutually respectful, appropriate, and caring. Here are several areas where it's important that we set good personal boundaries. One, intellectual boundaries. You're entitled to your thoughts and opinions. Two, emotional boundaries. You're entitled to your feelings. Three, physical boundaries. You're entitled to your space. Four, social boundaries. You're entitled to your friends and social activities. Five, spiritual boundaries. You're entitled to your own spiritual beliefs. Now, there's a lot to think about and consider in setting healthy personal boundaries. Take your time and choose what you want carefully and thoughtfully. Now, here's a few examples of how to set boundaries. One, Ask for a time to talk things through and try to remain calm and positive. Two, talk about what they want and what you want. Three, talk about what a compromise would look like. And talk about consequences too. Like one, be clear about the consequences if a new boundary is broken. And two, some boundaries have their own consequences. For example, if you stop calling in sick for a partner with an alcohol or drug problem, they will be forced to deal with it. Love that. And if your partner won't talk to you about it, you can still set a boundary by saying, it doesn't have to be now, but we'll have this conversation soon. Just as important as setting personal boundaries, though, is learning to defend them. If you give in, you lose. So stick to your guns. Now, I've just scratched the surface on this topic. You know, there's tons of great information online and I urge you to go educate yourself. And remember, change your thinking, change your life. Well, that's all I've got. So until next time, God bless and be a happy enchilada. Bye.